Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. So in today's video I am going to be swatching and trying out creating an eye look with this palette here. This is a new release from Profusion. If you don't know then get to know Profusion eyeshadows are absolutely fantastic. They are some of my all-time favourite formulas. In fact I have my three palettes out here because I was talking about them really really recently. They're still out on my desk. I need to, I desperately need to tidy my desk but that is a job for another day. Today I'm diving into this. I'm going to swatch all of the colours and I'm going to create an eye look. So did I even say what this is? It's the Profusion Cosmetics Free Spirit 25 shade palette. This is what the packaging looks like. It had a sticker on it up here if that area looks a little bit weird and then inside there's a nice big mirror and that's what all of the colours look like. Let me just take the protective sheet off it so that you can actually see what the colours look like. So that is all of the shades. I absolutely love the colour story of this palette because I feel like apart from a few like bright pops of colour I feel like it's quite a pastel muted palette and I feel like for me I could use this just for an everyday look. I do like to wear quite a lot of colour on an everyday basis but I feel like these colours aren't so bright and in your face that I would feel uncomfortable using them on an everyday basis and I already know from using the other palettes that I have, I already know that the quality of these is going to be incredible. I am very interested in like this shade in the middle here called Mysterious. <laughs> this one here is almost like do you remember that one that people were commenting on in the Huda Beauty palettes where it looked like a petri dish? It almost looks a little bit like that, like there's some clear areas and then there's like chunky glittery areas. There's also some that I can see are like duochrome, so I'm very interested to get into those and I already know that the mattes are fantastic. So I'm just going to dive straight on into doing some swatches on my arm here and then we will create some sort of look. I've got no idea what I want to do today. I don't have anywhere to be so I can just go a little bit crazy. I could maybe even do one eye one and one eye another. We'll see. Let's swatch. So first up we have Soul and that is a sheer sort of iridescent white shade. It's almost like undetectable and then when it catches the light you can see the reflect. Then we have Delicate and this one is almost like a, it's like a duochrome but in the pan that just looks like a white, sort of creamy white and then when it catches the light it's almost like a hot corally pink sort of shade that's really interesting um but a lot more sheer than i was expecting it to be i feel like i can't really see that in the viewfinder at all i can see it in real life but on the camera that is not showing up too much then the next shade is splendid and this is a matte sort of emerald green and that is really really pretty this is actually one of the darkest shades in the palette I will go in with a second layer just to see, yeah, it does build up nicely and that's really nice and vibrant actually, I like that. Then next up we have Graceful and again, that's like a duochrome in the pan that looked lilac-y but that's almost not showing up very much. I mean, it's very, very sheer but I suppose a sort of a colour like that all across the lid blended right out as like a nothing but just catches the light sort of one and done shadow pretty enough so next up we have the shade joy and this is like a shimmery foily sort of lemon yellow creamy sort of shade that one is showing up so much more than the one next to it like it must be a different formula but that's really really pretty that's the sort of shade that i would bang on the inner corner to really brighten things up a bit there then next up we have painted lady and this is a matte and this is like a light but bright pink 
kind of feel like that shade isn't showing up as much on the camera as it is in real life. Anyway, then we have Exotic. Ooh, that is pretty. Let me just work that in for a minute. Wow. That is really, really pretty. That's got like almost a grey base and then when it catches the light it's got the most incredible hot pink and also gold reflex in it. That's so pretty. Then next up we have another matte and this is called Social. Let me just go over that one again because I feel like, for me anyway, when I'm swatching shades, when I swatch one with my little finger, it's like there's not enough space on the little finger to get a proper swatch. So in the pan actually, that looks a lot darker. That's almost like a hot pink on the swatch. I like it. It's a nice shade. It's just not what I was expecting from the pan. Interesting. So next up we have the shade Transform. Wow. <laughs> Okay, I need that shade all over my lid. That is incredible. That swatch would have carried on going as well. Like, there's so much left on my hand there. Wow, that is incredible. That is like my perfect, just all over the lid, one and done shade. I love that colour. Then next up we have Playful, which is a matte, almost like a cornflower sort of blue. Wow, where has that swatch gone? <laughs> it's built up a little bit, but not as much as I was expecting it to from what it looks like in the pan. Then we have Majestic. Some of these shades are like really impressing me, and then others are like, where is it? So that looks like it should be a beautiful sort of shimmer, but it's just not giving as much as this one is. <laughs> Then we have Spring, what does that say? Spring Azure? <laughs> Don't know what that means. And again, this is like a, a very light pastel blue. That one's showing up more than that playful shade, but still not as much as I would maybe like. I feel like this is a different formula than the little five pan ones that I already know and love. Okay, so I've got high hopes for these next swatches. Um, we have the shade Mysterious, and this is like a chunky glitter, like what's in the centre of the five pan shades. I love that. That is like reflecting every single colour, but it's got a purple base, so I feel like that's going to be so versatile. I love that. Then we have the shade Hope. And this is like a minty pastel shade. Again, not showing up as much as I would hope it to. Then we have Magical. This is like a bronze. That's pretty. That's like bronze and also like reflecting peachy. I'm running out of space on my arm. <laughs> so I will just do a few more down here and then I'll find somewhere else to do the rest. Uh, we have the shade Nectar, which is a peach. Yeah, that isn't showing up as much as I thought it would. Let me just go over that one. Yeah, underwhelming. I'm finding the mattes quite underwhelming, which is sad because the mattes in the five pan palettes are so incredible. Mm, I suppose they're building a little just not as impressive as I was hoping they would be. I mean, the colour story is beautiful. I'm sure I'll be able to work with it. Hmm. I'm going to do the next lot of swatches underneath so that I don't run out of room. So we have the shade Care Free. Oh, that is pretty. That is like the intensity that I expected from some of the other shades. That is really, really pretty. Then we have Monarch, and that one felt the same. Yeah. See, these ones are performing so much better than, like, the first few. Like, these ones just aren't showing up as intense as these ones. I love these ones. Uh, so then next we have Vibrant, and that's, like, a lime green. Yeah. That one just isn't showing up as much, is it? 
it's not just me like it's just not showing up as much but that is a matte so I don't know maybe it would let's try it maybe it will build up on itself like the other mattes did and yeah it has it has built up but it's still not to the same intensity as these ones then we have wings which is a sort of neutrally brown shade yeah and that's just very underwhelming I mean I know a neutral brown is a neutral brown like you can only get so interesting with a neutral brown but I was expecting more pigment so then on to the last row we have purple emperor and that is just nothing <laughs> that's like barely even building up as well I feel like that is very disappointing and in the pan that looks like it would be like one of the darker shades and it's like hmm a bit disappointing then we have charming which is like a mauve sort of lighter purple again I will build it up so that we can actually see what sort of colour it is <laughs> again not really building up then we have flutter which felt the same as like these ones more of like a creamy duo chromey sort of shade yes when that catches the light that is incredible I feel like I'm really having to like contort myself so you can see all these shades now <laughs> then we have the shade alluring and that one is building up a little bit better but still not to the intensity that I was expecting so then lastly we have the shade Soaring, that was a little bit of a tongue twister <laughs> and this is a dark brown, again I will go in with two layers to try and build up the colour that looks like a decent enough sort of neutral dark brown so that is all of the shades, I am immediately of course drawn to this one here, Transform and also like these two duochrome sort of more reflective ones, I don't know what matte shades I'm going to use. I feel like it leans very blue actually when I swatch it out. Like there's a lot of bluey tones. Like if you just see that bit, like that's quite sort of greeny bluey. And then there's like the peaches and more of like the lilacs. So I feel like you could get a decent amount of different looks with this palette. I'm just a little bit underwhelmed. Like the like I keep saying, the five pan palettes that I have are more impressive on a swatch. They're more impressive on a swatch than these ones are, but let's try them out on the eyes and see what we can create. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this colour sort of in the crease on the outer half of the lid, blend it out with something a little bit more purpley, and then just put something across the lid. I don't know which yet, but that's what I'm feeling like doing. Um, I will keep playing with this. I will keep doing different looks with it and come back in a month or two and tell you what I think of it. As always, I do like follow up reviews at the end of the month. So if you want to know like my final thoughts on things, watch out for like my monthly favorites and like my monthly roundups. I post those at the end of every month, but I will keep playing with this and see in depth more how I feel about it. Of course I will give you a first impressions today. I will also say if you see like scratches on this hand specifically, I got a kitten two days ago so that is that. Is that. <laughs> I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush into the shade Splendid which was that green. This one just here, the matte green and I will start working that into the crease on like the outer half of the lid. So then I'm just going to go in with a clean fluffy brush and start blending out like the outsides of that colour and then I will dip into a purpley shade but first impressions <laughs> I really like that shade. If you don't know then I absolutely love a turquoisey tealy greeny eyeshadow and this for me is ticking all of the boxes that's really really pigmented it's blending out to like almost give itself its own blend if that makes sense like the parts where it's blending it's like keeping the same undertone but blending itself out does that make sense <laughs> if you don't know 
I don't ever know what I'm talking about. <laughs> So I've just packed on a little bit more of that green and I'm going to go in with that same brush into the shade Charming, which was that lightest purple, one of the last ones that I did, um, matte shade, tap off the excess and I'm just going to sort of run that over the top of the outside of that green just to help it blend out a little bit more and start adding some of that purpley tone back in. So that has just helped the blend and I feel like it started to add that purple tone in then I'm gonna go back into that first fluffy brush and I'm just going to wipe it off on a little bit of tissue that I've got here I'm going to dip into alluring the darker purple on the bottom row there and I'm going to start packing that onto the lid and blend it into that green I will also just run that under the outer corner of the eye as well and start smoking that out a little bit. I'm just going to tap over a little bit more of that green so I feel like where I've put that last purple shade on I've lost a little bit of the intensity in that and I do still want that green to be very like apparent so just tapping a little bit more of that over. I do like that purple shade, that alluring shade on like the outer half of the lid here and I do feel like it's blended into the green nicely but it's not as dark as I was expecting it to be like I am having to build these up a little bit more than I was expecting to necessarily have to just with what I know from the five pan palettes I know I keep saying it but that is what I was basing my expectations on and I feel like these are a little bit different they're a little bit harder to work with they're a little bit less pigmented um, because I feel like in the five pan ones they're incredibly incredibly pigmented almost to the point where it's hard to work with them because they are just so pigmented straight off the bat whereas with this I feel like plus point I can control it a little bit more but negative it's just taking a little bit longer than I was expecting so I'm just going to tidy myself up here dip back into that alluring shade now and pack a little bit more of that onto the outer corner just keep building all of this up I will say also I didn't have an eye primer on maybe that was a boo-boo on my part <laughs> So I feel like that is probably around about as intense as I'm going to get that colour. I do like how it looks now. I can't stress that enough. I do like how it looks. I just feel like it was a little bit more work than I was expecting to do. So now I just need to decide which shimmer shade I want. I'm almost leaning towards this one. This more like ready, like corally tone. So that's what that one looked like in the pan. Is that what I want? maybe we do this one like on the middle to outer half and then transform which was that brighter one this one here on the inner half let's do it <laughs> I'm going to go in with my finger to try and really pack that on so I'm going into that monarch shade which was like a corally like peachy sort of shade and I will pack that on and then I will blend the edges. I feel like that's laying down really, really nicely. Let me try and blend it out though. <laughs> Let me, well not blend it out, I just want to blend like this top edge here. Yeah, that's working. And then I will do the same thing, same finger, dip into that transform shade, which I will say feels very much softer that even that um, Monarch shade feels very much more intense because it is. <laughs> that is so much more reflective. I really like that shade. So again, that one has packed on really, really nicely. I mean, I don't know what this look is. I have every shade on my eyes, but let me just try and buff out that top edge and I'll gently, gently, gently <laughs> tap over that join. I will also say I don't think there is a single speck of fallout under my eyes which frankly for the amount of layers that I have put on 
is quite impressive. So I will go in with a teeny tiny little uh, sort of packing brush. I want something really bright on the inner corner. I think I'm going to go in with that lemony shade because why not add another colour into the mix here. So that one was called Joy. Pick that up on the brush. It's not as intense as I was maybe expecting it to be from the swatch but it's nice. All of these shades are just all right. I will try them again with an eyeshadow primer. Maybe that's where I went wrong. So am I done? I think I might just try and put a little bit more of that Monarch shade, that peachy. Try and build that up a little bit more. Why not? Okay, so I've just been fiddling around with that for a little minute. I do like how it's turned out. Do I love how it's turned out? No. <laughs> Is it um, worth trying this again with an eyeshadow primer? Definitely. Um, I put a little bit of Purple Emperor, which is more of a brighter purple, under the eye, and I just sort of laid down more colours like on top of themselves just to make it look a little bit more um like intense I'm gonna go off I'm gonna do mascara and then I will zoom you out <laughs> and I'll be right back okay so that's the eye look done and my final thoughts on the palette I feel like there's some definite standout shades for me and there's definitely some that are more of just a very light wash of colour that you would do like a one wash of colour across the lid. This palette I do believe was £13.99 and I can't check it because my phone's on charge in the other room. I think it was £13.99 which I feel like for profusion and bearing in mind that this palette is a lot smaller than I was expecting it to be. I don't know why, I don't know what I was basing it on but I was expecting this to be more like the size of the £42 palettes from Beauty Bay. The pans are very, very small. Like I could, when I was swatching these, I could barely fit my finger into the pan. Um, I feel like for £13.99, I would personally, now that I've tried this, I would say get yourself a couple of the £5 ones rather than this one. I feel like the quality between the two is quite different. The mattes in these five pans are incredible, like one swipe all over the lid, full pigment. Whereas these I had to build up, and yes, I got that level of colour, but it was more work. And I feel like I just prefer these. Like ultimately, if I were to choose between having this one or a couple of these for like for the same price, I would choose the five pan ones. So make of that what you will. If there's some shades in this that you're like. I need that one particular shade and I'm willing to pay £13.99 for that one particular shade then go for it like I definitely think like these sort of shimmery ones are beautiful I will use it but it didn't blow my socks off in the way that I thought it would so that's my review let me know if you have tried this palette from Profusion and you have also tried these little five pan ones let me know what you think because for me they are quite different still pretty I still made a very very nice wearable look but it's just not the same so that's that <laughs> let me know what you think let me know if you do decide to pick it up anyway of course I will leave it linked down below but that is that I don't know what else to say now if you're new here subscribe if you like this video please give a big thumbs up but until next time thank you ever so much for watching <laughs> bye